real ish of the day. I'm your boy B Shine. We're about to discuss and finally finish this three parter. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Why are men single? <clears throat> Battle of the sexes. Because this time we got two ladies, we got two guys. First show was all men. I mean, the first show was all women, second show was all men. Now, before I go into my introductions on the people on the show, I have something I want to address. When I did uh, last week's show, uh, some clip, it's been being shared. It's been being shared. A lot of people shared it. I appreciate everybody that shared it uh, for whatever your reasons were for sharing it. But I want to give a special notice to uh, Cedric Cole's page. On Cedric Cole's page, the... Uh, he shared two minutes and 54 seconds of an hour show. And out of all the shares, I had a lot of female uh, input, a lot of female comments. I appreciated every female who could articulate their argument against the parts of the show that was shown for me. Because usually, you know, most people got a lot of problems with when B-Shy and say some shit. I don't get mad at that. To the women that articulated their issues or disagreements with what I said, I appreciate the fact that you stayed on topic. I want to give a, a special notice to the uh, the females that uh, decided that they had issues with what I said, but they never articulated their problem with what I said. They just made it a problem against me and with your personal attacks. So with that, I just want to say, uh, I, I, I heard everything you said, and from the bottom of my heart, I wholeheartedly want you to know that I don't give two parts of a fuck <laughs> about how you took it and how you felt about it. Because what I said... I knew that was coming. Oh, I mean, I everybody should have knew that was coming. coming. Well, um, I just want to say that, you know, <laughs> it is not my fault the way you have made issues or decisions in your life. It's not, my, it's not my problem that I can speak generally, but I'm speaking specifically to you. Um, the decisions that you made in your life is what you made. The, the subject was why are men single and not why B-Shine is single. B-Shine is not single. Uh, to the few of you that don't understand that having children while you're dating is different than having children with the person you're engaged with, again, that's my fault. The educational system failed you, so you don't know how to see that two things are different. I, if you want to get sugar-coated, watch The View or watch Steve Harvey. The name of this show is Real Ish of the Day. We discuss real issues. We discuss real shit. Everybody's opinion is different. I don't get mad at the opinions, opinions that are said. I hate that you get mad at the opinions that I have. But at the same time, watch it. And if you decide to comment, by all means, comment on the topic, comment on my statement. But if you make it personal, that's just your issue. And it shows me that roof, roof. Hit dog got hollered. Now, going into why men are single, battle of the sexes, I just want to introduce my co host uh, I have Valencia Jackson, I have Akila Graham, and I also have Corey DJ Taco Me, DJ Taco, Taco Supreme Taco Murray. Supreme. I said, Taco give me Supreme. a second. Murray. That's actual my DJ name, yes. That's his name. That's his name. He said that wasn't straight crazy. So yeah, we're that's everything. What the fuck is wrong with having everything? Like everything. Okay. It it it. Okay, I ain't about to go ahead. Get your get it's your show. Go ahead. Because I was about to tell you the history <laughs> about DJ Taco Supreme and how I got to where I am because it was an evolution. I mean, I didn't just start off. It's Taco Supreme, but the same so on show. you started off Benny Taco? No, I started off as Taco Meat oh, okay. when I was younger. Okay. And then... Uh, I don't know. If you started off when you was younger, you might have been leading uh, medium meat. But all right, that's when you was a baby. But anyway, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead into the show. And we're going we gonna to start with the ladies. We're going we gonna to be some gentlemen tonight. And we're going to let the ladies start it off. And I just want to hear from the ladies. And then we're going to go into the fellas. So uh, I know you, you ladies did an excellent job on the show when my mouth was all taped up. Thank you. And uh, I just want to say again that I thought it was a good show. I watched it again today. Um, you ladies, you did your thing. I, I personally felt like, you know, you guys was unbiased. And I felt like that with all of you. Even when uh, the conversation did either go to what y'all felt the women aren't doing and when you felt what the men weren't doing. So I just want to say again that I think you guys did a good job. We're going to do more shows. 
where I want to shut the fuck up and I'm going to just let ladies give your opinions on the topic and then the men going to do the same on the following show. But uh, Valencia, so uh, I know you've already kind of had this conversation, but it's been a little while since you spoke, so maybe you got something new or different. But why are men single? <sighs> Just, um, I still feel the same. <clears throat> men are single um, for both reasons, the size of the men, the size of the women. The women have, unfortunately, um, brought into the, they want to be single, let's just hang out, let's just do all the things that should be reserved for the chosen one, even if the chosen one only lasts seven weeks, seven months, whatever it is, but we just out here doing everything, so we've lowered our standards, and so they don't have to step up anymore. Um, <clears throat> you have some women um, these days that, because of that adaptation of attitude, it's hard for a man to find a good woman just the same way it is hard for a woman to find a good man. So it used to be it was hard to find a man and all the good women were out here, but I disagree with that being the current situation. But as far as men being single, I also think men hold a bigger responsibility because they have abandoned their families, their communities. And there's a breakdown of roles in the community and we blame the women for the position that they have had to step into because of the absence of men. Um, and we're blaming each other when neither of us should blame, but at some point men have to step up and be men. I mean, at some point, but I mean, when you say neither of us are to blame, but then you also bring up that, you know, uh, men have abandoned not only their communities, but their families. That still shows that, you know, it is some blame to be had. But my thing is that I, I when I hear stuff like that, I can, see that you know that's not all men and maybe like when we do shows like this and that's one thing is i've kind of watched our shows i think men and women when we speak on men and women we need to make more of an importance of saying that you know some men have walked away from their communities and their families some men ain't shit and i agree with that some motherfucking niggas ain't shit but at the same time, you know, some women ain't shit. And it's 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 Absolutely. a it's a Which give and take. That was my argument. But what? like I said, but but don't don't counter when I say what a man's fault is because I will I will stand firm on my my position. Yes, if I gotta say who's more to blame, I'm gonna say men. Uh, in the beginning, the reason why I say it was no one to blame in the beginning because we were torn apart by neither one of us wanted to be torn apart. If we go all the way back in history, we were torn apart and systematically things have been set up, but there still is a responsibility for our men to say, we have to be the one to stop the cycle. Akila? Honestly, I guess I'm coming from a different point of view. Um, we need to be able to articulate what they want in the beginning, like we were talking about last time. Oh, I'm sorry. They need to be able to articulate what they want in the beginning, like we were talking about last time, so they, so people would know, so they won't go into situations and, and end up still in a situation, still single, but in a relationship. So I think for the women in the situation, if they, they don't want to be single, they want to be able to have a good relationship with the men, they got to be open up from the beginning. Thanks. Oh, you know, hey, that's, hey, that's what happens when you got good mics, you know, they pick up everything. They definitely do. So, uh, uh, DJ uh, Taco Supreme? <laughs> yes. I, I agree with uh, Valencia, like I, and you can document the last show. I said the same thing. I think that the account, I, th I think it's like the, uh, I think the question like answers the, I think the question answers the question. Like, yeah, the question you know, everybody keeps blaming each other. You know, it's, and I look at, you know, when this was posted and it, we champion around, you know, our own gender, because if the man says that, you know, these females ain't nothing, then, you know, we can identify, well, yeah, the females ain't nothing. And then, the, you know, the women saying that, you know, uh, it's the guys that don't want it. And everybody agrees that it's the other person, but nobody wants to take the self accountability for it. And I think that's the reason why, why, we, everybody, why everybody is single. single yeah. Just lack of accountability. That makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. But when you put it in a, you know, when you put it in protocol, it is the man. And the sentiment 
that a lot of men have is that the responsibility also falls on the woman, but they want to be taken as a leader. Like that's that's that cancels each other out. Talking out of both sides. It is. You can't say that you know respect me as a man. This is my house, and so on and so forth. But she has you know leverage in in your decision, you know, and in, in your actions because we we put a lot of actions. You know, the woman is promiscuous or, you know, she's being a hoe. What she is is adhering to the, the short attention that we give them. Yeah. It's, 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 more so, it's more so that we're cosmetic and they respond cosmetic. So we, we, we look at them, like, outside, like, uh, yeah, they, they just being bitches. They're responding to that energy that we give off. That's where I say, now, am I saying that it's not the woman's fault? No. Yes, they're adults. They're grown people. They have their own, you know, level of thinking, and they should be held accountable for the things that they do as well. Absolutely. But it could drastically change if the men took more accountability. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> I just look at it as, okay, that's what, how do I want to work it? I agree with a lot of every, everything everybody's saying. I mean, at the end of the day, it's always going to be a finger point. Because if you really look at it, if we ask why are men single, guess what? Women do play a part in why men are single. <laughs> but the thing is, if you ask, uh, ask females why are women single, guess what? Men play a part. We play a part in each other's singlehood. Because singlehood. dependent, well, singlehood, singleness, being by your goddamn self, mm -hmm. however you want to call it. We, we, we as men and, and y'all as women, our experiences is built off first and foremost from our personal experiences and then it branches off from the people that we know and thanks to say, social media, we get to hear everybody's opinion on their own relationships, your relationships with others, uh, this is how your relationship should go and this, that and the other. But at the end of the day, when, if we're gonna go just to, to me, why men are single, again, Yes, a man has a responsibility to a woman and to his woman. But do a man have a responsibility to every woman he comes in contact with, every woman that decides to fuck? In my opinion, no. That's where, to me, the, the, the part goes toward the woman of you as a female have to choose the guy that you let get between your legs. Now, where the responsibility for the guy comes from is when I have made that decision to where I want to take it further than me fucking you. And as immature as that may sound, that it, is it reality. Sounds very hey, immature. you can say that. Guess what? Again, I've said this for almost what three to four shows. When a guy first is, first approach a female, he wants to fuck. After getting to know the female, as the female presents herself as something more to fuck, that's usually when the guy changes his mind and want more, or continues on with the I wanted to fuck. Now I fuck. Now I can go about my business. Let me. Here's a scenario. Go ahead. I'm, I'm coming to sell you some encyclopedias, mm -hmm. right? And I'm telling you everything in this is in these books that you're gonna get. You're gonna get all this information. You're asking me specific questions. I'm telling you the information in this book could answer all your questions, right? Right. At the time, I say just let me get whatever the amount of the uh, books is. You pay me that. You trust me. I come back. Books ain't got no fucking pages in. Mm. Who's at fault? You for being a dumbass or me for telling you a lie? Uh, let's see. Uh, first, me for being a dumbass, <laughs> and then you for telling a lie. Okay, so in that dynamic, both of them, both parties are guilty, right? But I intended to mislead you. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. So wouldn't that make me more at fault? Like, you was the dumbass. Mm hmm but at the same time, you was going off the information I was giving you, right? Now, and so wait, wait. And so if a man is just trying to fuck, how is he taking out that equation if he's if he's representing himself with lies? And how is it on the woman for believing these lies? Like how how does that Why fall more so on the woman? Himself and say, I just want to fuck. And again. So that's the Something. same thing as if the woman has to be prepared to say that she wants a relationship, which nine out of ten, or I'll say six out of ten, will make it very clear mm -hmm. that's what they want. And they're going to do just what Corey said. They're going to disguise themselves as such. And so then we try to blame her. But like you said, you the first thing you're going to say is, 
damn, I, you, I, you don't even trust me. You know, you, so when they when they try <laughs> to trust you mm-hmm. with your word and everything, and they checking it out, and then bam, that ain't really what you was about. I, I agree with Corey. So how, we all, so all men lie. That? So, I, that's not what I said. And well, see, that's the premise that you guys are saying. Because no, no, guess no, no, what? No, no. It's we, some we guys. We gave that scenario. So, like you gave your opening statement, and we, we, we shouldn't even have to say all men. We talking about the ones that we know. <laughs> well, well, you know, well, some people that, that some, but some people that watch, they listen for certain words and keywords. Well, I'm going to give my even, disclaimer. I never say all oh, okay. or never or things like those de- definitive things. So when I speak, well, I'm not what, speaking. And, and I want to go back to even what he said, because that goes into what my next part is about with the encyclopedia. Okay. Now say, for instance, that I told you everything. Yeah. I was going to sell you with this encyclopedia. <laughs> the words are in the books. Right. You haven't paid me yet. Right. But in the process of me still discussing payment with you, you show me that, you know what? I really don't want to sell you my encyclopedia. So sometimes, Guys are being honest. Some guys tell chicks out the door, you know what? I don't want a relationship. Some guys tell them, I'm just here for this. Some women tend to say, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying, but this pussy going to make him change his mind. So you you, you got some people that on that payment, but let me tell you about the other flip side of what's happening out here that I think happens a little more often than we want to put out there, and that's this. I don't want a relationship. I don't want a relationship. I just want to fuck. I just want to fuck. But then we try to get away from the real ish of the day, <laughs> which is how women are made. And men understand and we know how women are made. Women, we know how we made. And if a guy is being consistent and being nice to you and spending time with you, you like him, that's your man. I hear all the time. Okay, so so don't, if you really up front and you want to just have sex, Say that, let the phone call be, let's have sex, see you, we had sex, call you, next time it's time to have sex. sex. But when you start coming over, and and you're rubbing up, we now now we going out to eat a little bit, because we both home, we might as well. Okay, like you said, we both hungry. And then now you come, and it's my birthday, so we go to a special place before we go get it in again. Now we have a great time. So we doing all of this stuff, and you still want to go off of the words of what you don't want, but that's what you know but, what you're doing. But the problem is, if I be up front with you and I say I just want to fuck, I'm not going to get the pussy. It ain't, I don't care how many that's chicks. That's not necessarily I'm saying sure. that I don't Nine know. Times out of ten. I don't know of a, I've never met. I'm sure they out here like fucking um, Irish people, but I'm just saying <laughs> I've never met. Somebody that was just up front would say, okay, yes, you can just fuck me in there and that's it. So, of course, men adapting uh, creatures that we are have to be creative and lie and say, well, you know what? I do like you. It's just not the time right now. But the one thing I hear from women, and this is how I know uh, what the men aren't giving. The one thing they always want, and it's always the same, and every woman, and watch these two go crazy when I say it, is consistency. Absolutely. All they ask for Absolutely. is consistency. And it's like that's the most alluring thing that they want beyond all the other shit. It sounds like bullshit, but in... No, I agree with that. Women want... Consistency builds trust. Yeah. Consistency it, it, builds but, trust. But see, the problem is is that sometimes some women allow negative consistency to think is positive. Wait, 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 wait. That's, that's baggage. And knowing, knowing, knowing that women are emotional creatures, knowing that they're going to take those past experiences and think twice because they don't want it to happen again, like walking down a far, uh, dark alley. Once once a chick get du- uh, jumped in the alley one time, she ain't going to go down it again. Mm-hmm. It's just baggage. And that's what, and, and I think we confuse it with them being bitches. But I don't confuse it with that. When I, when I say some women are being bitches, oh, gosh, you're going to make me go into my distinction. But when I say a uh, motherfucker's being a bitch, it's just like on uh, Cedric Cole's page with a lot of those bitches. Um, when I when I when I when I call a woman a bitch, I'm talking about I'm really comparing them to a female dog. And when I compare them to a female dog, you know, when a, when a dog is just barking and barking and barking, ain't really got a fucking reason to be barking. That's the reason why I call someone a bitch. So by definition, being, by definition, your your definition of a bitch is a woman that's talking too much, talking too much, barking at me for something that she's not even articulating why she's barking. She's just barking. Just burr, burr. like, okay, what did I say that made you mad? You ugly. 
Okay, besides me being ugly, what did I say that made you mad? You always talking shit, okay? I'm always talking shit, so what did I talking shit about? Urgh! You know, you, you, you're not articulating shit. I have, that, when I, I have a lot of women that do not like me, but they can articulate why they don't like me. They can articulate the fact that on your show, you said this, this, and this, and my problem with that was this, and the other thing you said was this and this part right here. Those are the women that, regardless of how they argue with me, I am do my best, even if I want to get disrespectful, I'm not, because they have a point, they are stating their point. But when I get, as like a lot of people always want to say, I'm just japping out on motherfuckers, no, that's when you're being disrespectful. You've been, I'm saying something general, this is a general statement. You're saying it like I said, hey, Keela, you ain't shit, and you suck, and this, that, and the other. Now, I can't get mad if Akila comes back and, and, and uh, personally attacks me, because I personally attacked her. But if I make a general statement, all you're doing is showing that you butthurt, because I don't know you. Like I keep saying all the time, I don't know you personally. I just know some bitches with your problems. And that that's not, and, and just because I talk about that, some of them doesn't mean I don't understand women. But then that's the issue. That's why they get so upset, because you're, hit, you're hitting them with their issues. It's like you ever go to church, and you probably ain't been to church in a long time, and you sitting in church and feel like the preacher is talking directly to you. Sometimes your posts do that to people. Most times your posts do that to people. So they're like, damn. Well, fuck him. He ain't got no girl, and he ugly, and he don't do this, and he don't do that because they mad about what's going on with them, you know, with themselves. That's what that's like. And I agree. This is why men are single. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we moved on, but no, okay. Now back to uh, to the why men are single, and which I said last week, and again I had to say what I said last time was because Corey mostly said it was the man's fault. Jane said it was mostly the man's fault, and Yatsu brought up it, it, it being a bad investment. But again, it was an investment that man didn't want to go into. Even Tremel went into how it's more of a man's fault. If we even sit here and have four or five people sitting there talking, how entertaining is it for all of us to say the exact same shit? Well, no. if it's the truth, speak it so we can get the men in order and do right. That's but guess what? what? It ain't all the fucking men. It's true. It, it ain't, ain't say all the men. No, so the men that it ain't, that's like saying it ain't all the police that's killing us. Well, what are, where it's the, not all well, of the where, police. But then where's the good ones to step up to the bad ones to say stop shooting the people? And, we, and guess what? They you ain't know, doing And it. guess what? You have no idea what is being said behind closed doors. You have no, I've seen videos of police officers stopping other police officers from doing ignorant okay, shit. So and guess what? The it's about, and guess what? Every time men are having a conversation, stuff. we don't call our girl to listen in on it. Okay. I mean, we so have to do, the about? same shit that me and this nigga go through on this show, it's doubly in our phone call. Okay, well then tell us a little bit. Okay. How do you correct the man? How do you correct the man? Okay. How do you Fine. correct? How, how, how do you correct the man? Mm -hmm. In my personal opinion, mm -hmm. you have to take a lot of these hoes off the board. You have to take a lot of these bitches off the board. But you know, because, no, wait, 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 wait. But see, but see, the problem is when when you ask what's how do you fix the issue and you place the blame on a woman. I'm not placing the blame on a woman. I'm saying take some of the shit that are making men easy no, no, to no, do no, no. board. Listen, talk wait. to the men first. Okay. Let me tell you something. If the men left the village and came back strong soldiers, the ladies going to fall in line. Some will. The, the ladies going to fall in line. Some the ladies are will. going to fall in line. All these bitches out here with their chest all stuck out because they making more money than the men and they doing all that. Even I them, they go, they gonna fall. Why would they fall in line? And the majority of them feel like they don't need a man because that's what. But because that's what they've been told. Why you but all you know were what? missing? No, it's it's just like you saying that they saying that they don't need a man. They're saying that because won't nobody step up. It's it's the fact that it's, the it's, the, it's a defense it's mechanism. It's a defense mechanism. And, and not only that, but at the same time, when you got when you got dudes out here that think like women, I'm talking about in this like. They mind, it, they it, it, it ain't man, it's competition. Like, these niggas is competition for women. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? They're not standing up for them whatsoever. The, the like, to, is, to complete, I'm sorry, real quick, but to completely, when, you, when and that's that's just what I hear. When, when asked why men are single, the first words out of some guy's mouth is, well, the woman. That's like, that's weak as hell. Like, so you wait, I'm going to ask you, I'm gonna let you go next. I want to ask you a question. 
Now we now we're gonna say how to think. I ain't I ain't talking about these fuck niggas. I ain't talking about these bullshit ain't shit niggas. I'm talking about the man of substance. Right. I've went th- I've done everything I need to do. My shit is in order. I'm continuously getting my shit in order. I have what I expect from a woman in order. But I keep running into too many motherfuckers that maybe she got too many kids. I don't want that. I mean, I, I don't want to, you know, I ain't saying that every nigga isn't into a woman that got kids because obviously it's niggas that. I'm just saying, for some guys, having kids is a turn off the same way for some women. Have a guy with kids is a turn off. Okay. I'm saying that, okay, I have this amount of money. Okay, she ain't got shit to bring to the table but some pussy. So I bag off from them type of women. Now, every nigga that bags off from women, every nigga that does bring up a negative aspect of some females that he has come in contact with, that should not make him a weak nigga because he wants to settle for some bullshit no different than it shouldn't make a woman be a weak woman or a weak bitch for not settling for a bullshit nigga. But the- Every sex has something they look for in the opposite sex, and they also have little red flags that they also look for that will make them bag the fuck up. And it is easy to tell that a woman looks, the number one thing she looks for on a man is security. So all she wants is security. So if we're placing the blame, if we're placing the blame on it's not working out or just the environment that they're that they're creating, then that's like a that's that's an oxymoron. You're you're saying that I'm the leader, but it's her problem. She's looking for security, but you don't have to deal with her. But guess wait, what? Wait, wait. You okay. don't have to deal with her. Like if, if it's a woman that has too many kids. Why are you in that situation trying to uh, figure it out? Maybe I didn't know it at the time. She got too many kids. Move the fuck on. Okay. Like, it, you don't have to meet her and be with her, but you don't have to be with her and lie to her. Okay, and at the same time, well, niggas do meet a motherfucker, find out what their problems are, and walk the fuck off, then that nigga ain't shit. <laughs> and that nigga ain't shit. Oh, he couldn't, he couldn't deal I with it. I think you overthinking or, that situation. I'm not really overthinking shit. I mean, that, happens, <laughs> that do happen sometimes, but what I was trying to say was that sometimes... Men don't go into the relationship or the situation thinking that that woman is an investment. So if you treat if you treat a treat a woman like an investment, you go well. What's investment? You put your money in somewhere, you wait a little while, it builds. Sometimes. It, well, most. It's sometimes not most. Not well, most. I mean, <laughs> men have a problem with putting money into it. <laughs> Well, I'm not. I mean, now you a gold digger, girl, just saying that. Well, no, right, I mean, no, I, no, I, no. I mean, I, I mean, I mean it doesn't. It, it, when he, when it comes to investment, I don't I necessarily mean, think she's simply I'm speaking on money because well, we're investing we, time, but we get, money. We get petty with the first dates. Now we arguing. You know how many memes and arguments I see on Facebook is arguing about if the woman, if women get dogged out for saying that they will not pay for the first date. They didn't say any date. The first day. Do you know how many men will come on there and dog the women out? That's that I have real. I've that's seen that. But, but it's mean, usually. That's but usually. That's that's that most men don't know. That's, that's what I'm But saying. usually so when I see right. that. Men don't. Most, most men don't look, go into a situation thinking that this woman is. I'm thinking of her as an investment. That she, that's something that worse she, she Because you know why through. they don't think that? Because when they go into it, they look at it as in, I want to fuck. And as they're trying to fuck. A woman presents herself as either an investment or something to fuck. And usually, guys will either do one or two things. Either they're going to try to fuck you and then bounce, or they'll fuck you and then keep trying to fuck you. And they may not do everything that you want, but they see something in you, so they keep coming around. Oh, I I told you from the beginning, like you said, oh, I just want to fuck, but now my birthday came up and now that nigga's over there. He's, He's trying to show you that, okay, I'm... I'm a little more interested in what I originally told you, but it's something that, that you're doing. Is that what he's trying to tell you? So yeah. now, now here we go. If that's what he's trying to tell me, then I think, okay, we are moving along. But then six months down the line, he turned around and tell me, I ain't never tell you that. So are we supposed to think that's really what? See how confusing that is? It's not really we're confusing because, honestly, you have to just think, even with niggas when it comes to women and women when it comes to niggas. We all do certain shit during our process of really trying to get together that will turn off the other motherfucker. And it doesn't matter if I'm a man, I can say some, we can been going good and out of nowhere I just said some super goofy shit that now you looking at me like, you know what, I don't know if I want to go further. No different than what females do with guys. Sometimes y'all do certain shit too fast, like what y'all said on the last show when uh, Nicole was speaking, uh, it was a part where uh, y'all was talking about um, bringing up relationship uh, issues and shit too early. And some of y'all felt like it's never too early. I, some of y'all felt like, man, it can be too early. And I, I, I listened to it. We were driving over there. I said, 
I agree with that statement. You know, some some shit can be said too early. Just like a nigga that wanna fuck, he can say I wanna fuck too early. And then that'll be like, <laughs> you know what? You know what? I oh. cannot. But <laughs> yeah, like the I, basis of the whole thing is men go into relationships, all relationships, all situations with the intent. Like, I'm trying to fuck. Yes, I, I agree with that. I say all that all the time. All men. All of them. I'm saying all men. Okay. If you if you okay. show me if you show me a nigga that said the reason why okay. he started dating you because you was a great conversationalist, I will call him a simp lying ass nigga to his face. <laughs> that is some bullshit. So you said they don't look at you and say she's attractive. And and yeah, well, know, guess what? But when we say you're attractive, attractive I mean, that means we want to so fuck. That's because they're attractive. They so so even so so okay. Let me let me take that further because I want you know every if it's the truth stands the truth through all right. So if man thinks the person's attractive, they automatically want to sleep with them. So even no after, no we don't want to sleep with them. We want to fuck. We want to fuck. Okay, okay, so, fuck. okay. so you get with somebody, mm -hmm. you still got eyes. Mm -hmm. You still see people are attractive. Mm -hmm. Every time you still want to, is that why it's so much cheating? Because it's still attractive equals fuck to every man. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But every man doesn't always enact on it. But I can see a lot of women that I think want to, I, I was like, man, tenet, well, I could be driving like, man, I would like to fuck, but I kept on driving. But you know what, though? It even, that's indicative of just how we look at them. And I think black women are just systematically, like uh, Valencia said, well, you said that we're systematically divided, but I think that's systematically degraded. Like in our music, there's no other form of music like rap that's more disrespectful to women. That's embedded in us. Like we think bitch when we think woman. If we, you know, like that's the conversation that men have, and I, I ain't telling, you know, putting us out there. No but you telling the truth. I but agree. Yeah, that's like that's just that just shows how we look at women. So if we're looking at them disposable. How much substance are you looking to actually get out of it? Like you just saying it, and I said it with her that we're looking to fuck. How much substance are you looking to get out of your woman? And, and that's the difference between some men and the other men. Yeah. You said some we, men, we, no, 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 we agreed all men. Exactly. No, we I said all, all men. No, I, we agree oh. all men want to fuck. I'm taking it now. Now, now, we're going with all men want to fuck. But guess what? Now we just said that. Now we're in a whole different category. No, we're when not. you say no, yes, we're we are. Because no, we're not. talking about substance. We are we're no longer talking about fucking. To, but we're our intention is pivotal. Pivotal. No, pivotal. no. no. You, our original intention was to fuck. But, but wait, it wait, doesn't wait, mean wait. that we're not looking for substance at the same time. But what I'm saying is our pivotal intention was to, to fuck. fuck. Yes, but that doesn't what, change. I see that your, what your pivotal intention is and what your secondary, third, and everything <laughs> else goes past that. Because I'm sorry, yo, yo, just because a woman wants a man doesn't mean that just because that's a pivotal thing, she doesn't have other sections and categories that she's looking for. Can I ask the ladies a question? Sure. Have you guys ever fucked a guy in the past, ever had sex with a guy because you think that he would like you more? No. Never? No. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think that that's rampant? Yeah. Yes. Do you think that that's a cycle that's going on in the neighborhood? Yeah. yeah. Do you think that men have accountability in that cycle? Why you ask me a question you know the answer to? I'm asking. No. <laughs> I, I, did, I did not know the answer to that. I mean, you, did, you, you knew goddamn well I was going to say no. You I think, think they knew that I was going to say no. I, did you know I was going to say no? Did you know I was going to say no? So now he's trying to see niggas lie. No, and that's the problem. Just, they act like was hoping that you would see And guess what? In relationships, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, when you yeah. fucking with people, you hope for a lot of shit and you get disappointed sometimes. No, I'm sorry. Even though it is a cycle, every woman don't follow that fucking cycle. The same way she just sat there and said, I haven't fucked anybody just for the sole purpose of making them like me. She didn't do it. She I did. Care. Guess what? That's 50 50 right there with two women in front of us. <laughs> so you can't put, and that's what I, I swear to God, I hate this shit of always, when it comes to females, it seems like everything that's good and proper, we're supposed to put them under the same umbrella. But then when you say something that's negative, then we can start separating them. But when you separate them with something good and negative, then we still supposed to keep them under the same umbrella of fucking being good and positive. The shit is confusing. I'm sorry. Every female is not the same the same way every well, nigga no, is I not don't, the same. I don't, I don't think I get sure. dudes all under the I, umbrella. But I do, I do agree that it is portrayed that just because I'm a woman, I'm supposed to agree with what the how women feel about certain situations. I oh yeah, they when well, they that. do that, but then that's that's man code. That's that that's just how it is. So like I said, at the end of the day, the real thing is 
while we all run around pointing fingers, nobody has taken the time to look in the mirror and fix their own problems. We are the, we are the reason then, that we are so And then to get <laughs> out there and actually just, okay, you get with somebody, you see something you don't like, then you move on. But the thing is to go out and find what you're looking for. And, and know what you're looking for. But it's many people who are single men and women because they don't know themselves. They don't know what they're looking for. They out here as a trial and error every time with broken people with no skills. Yeah. So, yeah, you're saying, oh, yeah, but the girl, she doing this and this and this. Yeah, because she still didn't have that man at home where she saw how dad treat mom. Yeah. She didn't have that. I don't so want to now, disagree with you so, right there. I so, was going to let you so, keep going, but so, uh-huh. I didn't fucked a lot of chicks that had a good father at their fucking crib. I met him. He was doing his thing. Some of some some of the worst women that I have, I mean, this is a personal thing. There's no statistics to it. This is a B Shines quote. Yeah, BS. I, I, hey, hey, BS, <laughs> goddammit. Hey, BS. All I can say is that from my personal experience, it's really, when it comes to some females, and I'm saying some, it, it, it's a double-edged sword depending on where they come from. Because I've seen a lot of ain't shit bitches that came from a two-family home who had a good father, good mother. They they just didn't get no fuck. And I just seen some women that came from a single-parent home, just a mother, and they was like, you know what? I don't want this for my kids. I want a man in the household because I see how me and my mother acted. And then you have some women that fall into the programming of, okay, I was raised in a single family home and I saw from my grandma they was a single family home. So if a nigga can't do what the fuck I tell him to do, I'm cool with being about my motherfucking that, but stuff. But go back to your first scenario. That first scenario still going to lead you back to the man because that female that's out in the street that we sometimes call a bitch is the one who had her daddy at home who... Y'all men like to treat y'all daughter like princesses, but y'all hate when y'all meet somebody else's princess on the street and demand that kind of princess treatment. <laughs> okay? So let's think about the daddy who was treating his daughter like a princess. Now she's out in the street saying, at least minimum, what my daddy showed me I'm supposed to get, and half the men can't step up to what daddies that was on their shit, they can't do. Yeah, so the, the so the women are cocky, and they walking around, that's where you got the crown on, tilt, tilt, whole movement going on because there was some fathers there. I, my father was there. I still, I had my father in the household with me. But you can also have the wrong kind of father that's in the home that could hold, do a whole nother set of damage. Yeah, so it, it depends. So it still time, goes back to the... Mama. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, I mean, But I'm saying a, you can't... It's, it's a whole lot of... Oh, my fault. Go ahead, go ahead. But it still goes back to for when you say as far as coming from the two-parent home... It still stems from the leadership of that home, which should be the man. And the problem is, it's a lot of, it, it's a lot of men being, and I said this on that other show. It's a lot of men being raised by single women. Yeah. So a lot yeah. of men that see how to approach a situation in a relationship from the, the perspective of a, of a single woman. This ain't gonna work for me. I'm about to move on and get me something else. And they build and, their mistrust. Yeah. Because they were raised by a single mother who did some strange things for change in the kids' eyes. And so there's a mistrust. And then we're met with these men who refuse to take their mama off the pedestal and make that connection that mama is at the really root of how you looking at these women because you have a, a distrust. It didn't come from the first girlfriend in high school. It, it, it came, came from, from your mama. mama. It came from your well, mama no, when your mama chose somebody else. But, but no, I, I, no, I, I, no, no, because, I, no, you because the woman was there alone. She was alone in but, that. The so every way, I gotta ask you this question. So no. I gotta ask you this question. I, I really have to ask you this question because every I mean, time I, I hear going, this, going, every okay, time I hear me, this. So every single woman that is raising a child alone. The niggas left. I didn't say everything. No, I'm actually. I said it was a question. Every no. Okay, so um, it, do every woman that had a child, do she know who's the father of that child? No. Okay, so there are mistakes that the women that have. At, at the end of the day, would you say a lot of women are not as protective of their womb as a woman should be? 
I would say that, but I also say a man is not as protective with his sperm because we can get it in and I can let you in and you can be low down and dirty. But if you're not ready to step up and if you don't know if I'm going to be the trifling mama that's going to take you to child support, play games with you, you know when you get ready to come. That's the final choice. But what if I don't Whether care? I don't do it. If you don't care, that's still, then you have your responsibility for not caring. I have a responsibility. But you don't know me enough to make me have my but responsibility. Then, but then that's fine. Then she's left to deal with that. But at the end of the day, the man still wasn't asshole to not care so, and walk away and drop his seat. But get the pussy, do but don't yourself. drop your seat. But, you know but, what? But, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's, it's, it's like she's <laughs> telling you and you're being cynical. As I'm not being cynical. I'm being honest. You, I will put my no. I will put my hand to God. I am not being cynical. I am coming from a nigga that don't care's perspective of if you're not. But I'm that's back to the I, man. Is at the base but, of but, but, not even, but not even that. It's like she's telling you. She's saying this, and you're saying, "Well, what about this?" What about I mean, because like, what? Because these are things that happen for some of these it women. It don't matter. Why doesn't that matter? Because it matters what the fuck you gonna do. No, it, it matters that if she that. If, that's where the baby's at, over there. Her womb, that your your well, pussy is yours, and your womb is yours, how right? How did he get there? Who? That's the baby. How did okay, the baby get okay. there? Now, that's two um, people. I'll give you that. I'm, I'm, but go ahead. My, 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 three, my viewpoint is a little different than, than yours when it comes down to that. Because when, especially when we're pregnancy, women, we bear, we bear the burden of it. I have, I haven't had kids. I got a whole bunch. I have friends that got kids. From my, under, from my understanding, from what they tell me, since I don't have kids, we bear the burden. We got the nine months or ten months of pregnancy, all of that. We got to deal with it all. So if you know you're 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 dealing with the 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 load, the, the biggest load, why not protect it if you don't want any kids? Regardless if you know this man for years and years or not, if you don't want any kids, you're not going to have any kids. That's just how that's how I feel. We have. We have so many different birth controls out here. We have calendars that track our pre um, our periods, our ovulation, and when we have an orgasm, all that type of shit. We have we it got all. all that, but women have to take a risk on their health to prevent things as well. A absolutely. And, 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 and I'm one of them. I tried the, 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 the pill. I had a yeast infection every what? month. I had to get off of that. I had the shot, then I ain't had no period. I you blew was up bread? too foul. I was, right. Yes, all that's all what that, that do. Migraine shut in, Brandy. hair falling out, Brandy. can't have that or whatever. Right. So yes, it's a it's definitely a right. woman's responsibility to protect herself. But in that moment, it's we I'm, it's but still two people. Okay, but wait, I, not, I, wait, I, I just want to I just want to address some of the comments. Let me just you know, I, we don't went a long I time. I seen what Cecil Let, said. Uh, Cecil I mean, watched the whole not, show. Huh? Tell Cecil to watch the whole show. I mean that. Okay, I, I go. Okay, uh, Can I address Dorian. Cecil? Can I address Cecil? Okay, when we get to Cecil, yeah, I tell we'll you. Okay, Dorian Adams said men are single because what? Men are single because women have jobs. Facts are facts, okay? Uh, pretty sure. much, I'm assuming he's saying because women are self-sufficient, they don't need a man. That's the reason why a lot of women are single. Uh, uh, Ty Cheers said, the verbiage is off, but B is right. I'm assuming that's something that I probably said earlier. Um, it's a lot of Ty Cheers, uh, a lot of damn Bs, and shit like that. Uh, James said, fact B. Uh, James Q asks, who is that in the white shirt? Uh, that's Valencia Jackson. I am Valencia. Hi, you know, how that's are Valencia. you? Um, Hi, James. Uh, Ty Cheers again said accountability B. James Q said B is saying when and if men walk away, the woman is left accountable. She should protect herself from that. Um, Cecil just said please do. So uh, address Cecil. Cecil Frazier. What we're not doing is we're not saying that men are, are all accountable. And I just want to clear up my point. Well, I'm not saying that men are the only ones at fault. That's not what I'm saying. To say that I can take accountability of a situation and change it based on how I'm, I believe in me, is not saying that I don't, that the women are account uh, women are not held accountable. Are you are you are you sure this time? Because you know when we did the post interviews last night, I mean last time Rick James. He was, he was saying, now, no, I'm not saying it's all the man's fault. The, I'm saying the, it's all the, the man's fault. The that I did, I had those heads to mixed together, so I was kind of, uh, You were lit. I was lit. You were and, lit. And I agree with him. I, I'm, we're definitely not saying it's all the man's fault. I'm saying, but the man does have the bigger burden and responsibility as supposed to be leaders, supposed to be but even, but even answering the, But even answering the question, it's always a defense. Defensive mode that the man is in when they're when they're even asked 
to take leadership out of the situation. Not every man, and I disagree with that. And honestly, that's what that's what that's what honestly, where me and you, was, no, honestly, uh, honestly, uh, me and you, ago. me and you, I feel like where me and you differ on this type of conversation and in a lot of conversations, but especially this, <laughs> is mostly that you feel like. The man is supposed to be responsible for the woman, right? I feel like the man's supposed to be responsible for his, his woman. Okay, and, and and again, that's what I always say. But the difference is, you don't see it as every time a nigga fuck, that's not his woman. That's but, not his woman. But you know what? It could be a lot. Of, and if you want to, you know, make me sound like somebody old ass auntie, it could be a lot less pregnancies. No, if, I'm not. Uh, I, I, if, I don't want you to sound if, like if, somebody if, old. No, no, what I'm saying is, you're an alpha alpha male. I told you that. If the man takes the if the man takes the responsibility knowingly that the situation is all up on him, then he's not gonna put those situations where the woman gets pregnant. I'm. That's not saying that the woman is not accountable. No, no, I agree with that. But the man, the man could do that. But I get it. But and again, but it, but it takes every man to think like that. But that's actually, what it doesn't take, yeah. it doesn't take every man to think like that. It does. Listen, listen, every man listen, thinking like that. Every, the regardless, of, listen, yeah. regardless of what every goddamn man think, I'm sorry if women and I'm not. And this is not even me church coming at all women as y'all the fault. I'm just saying. In all honesty, the reason why I say a lot of the shit that I say is that while he feel like the man is the most important component, I actually feel like y'all are the most important component. And I feel like now as women, and I'm not pussy pandering for a goddamn <laughs> I'm just saying that as the woman, as the foundation for the future, as the woman that has a higher percentage chance of maybe raising the child without a man available, it should be and is on a woman not only to protect yourself. First and foremost, I say that shit all the time. Women need to, especially 2018, it is so much more available for women to not only protect yourself from pregnancy, but to protect yourself when it gets to knowing niggas. But, you but listen, listen, in that protection and listen, of and guess what? I don't want her to trust me because she don't fucking know me. I want her to trust in herself, trust in your decisions, and to a nigga show you enough about himself. You protect yourself, you protect your womb. And if, guess what? If you're doing all of those things, I can't get you pregnant. I don't give a good. fuck what that's I'm not, saying. That sounds good. Saying on the it street. does Y'all sound good. Enough, yeah. Making a woman feel bad. Because that that type of that type of wait, wait, right that type of motivational speech will get a motherfucker off her ass and do the right thing. Yeah. But that's not what we're yeah, saying. Yeah, we're saying, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, I care about you. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's see, let's see where this goes. Yeah. We're gonna take our, come, on, come on, like be for real. Yes, that's what. Okay. And that's what you and what you do is you paint the man out where he's. This upstanding guy. I didn't and say that. What I'm saying is, uh -huh. if the man takes accountability, uh -huh. we can get past that bullshit later and actually like, do you like me? Do I like you? And let's see if we can. If do you get mad at a spider for making a spider web and catching a fly? Do you get mad at a goddamn lion who will hide behind a hilly brush for hours and then <laughs> jump out and get a no, goddamn antelope? Do you get mad at killer whale that will knock a baby fucking whale off his mother's back? To get the whale and drown it, then eat it. Guess well, what? First of all, we are predators. Well, well, men are not we are predators. And are not yeah. We hey, all spiders. You are prey. Oh so no, no. It's a majority of y'all. No, a majority of women are prey. <laughs> y'all are prey. Y'all are prey. Y'all are, are prey, and we are predators. Now, it's not my fault as a predator so that a lot of other prey is son, getting. Raised, so that's what we keep passing on. That's why men. Oh no! Guess people. what? I try to. I'm gonna raise. I, I'm gonna. I have a. I have a daughter. I always pray that I wouldn't. But God mm -hmm. said, you know what? Fuck you! I'm gonna give you one. Mm -hmm. So guess what? The rest of my life will be to let my daughter know what these predators is going to say to her, what they're going to try to do. When she gets 14, 15, 13, 16, guess what? Don't send none of your goddamn naked body pictures to these niggas. Let's go on Google. Let's look up naked pictures and see you could be on the internet. It's just certain shit okay, as a man I'm going to teach my daughter. Doing all of that. She right? going to do what she want to do. And she going to be either one of these ones that's out here that's getting labeled. This, 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 she, all of that, because her dick And that's going to go into right? the part of me telling her that because you don't want to fuck easy, you might get called a bitch. And if you get called a bitch because you don't want to fuck, fuck that nigga. Yeah, that's facts. 
But what is reality, even after you give your daughter those lessons? She's going to do what and, she and wants to do. And if you have a son, are you going to teach him to be prey? I mean, a predator. Are you going to continue to tell the man that he's a predator? That's the problem. We keep telling men are we that's supposed what they're to be, supposed to but, do. But, but women that's like, the but, sole but, purpose Hold on, but don't y'all women we tell us? Say, we never hear the men. Hold we on, never wait, hear wait, the men tell them we are providers. We are the consistent people. How can you say we don't hear that in every show this nigga's on? That's what the fuck he's saying. Predators. He said it. He I said that shit. He, the last that. show, every nigga on here except for me said the exact same shit. But you okay. know what? I'm sorry. No, I'm hold just, on. Go ahead, Akila. Go ahead. Yes, she was trying to get so the predator. I think the, the 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 term predator is what's turning the conversation up here. I don't necessarily think it's predator. Like you want, we we as women want men to chase us. We want them to approach us. We yeah, but not. No, that's not. I don't want nobody outfit of a sheep. You know, when I, 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 when I, when I say predator, you, I mean, I would hope that y'all would understand that a predator is just something that stalks a different prey. If I'm calling you to pray, we stalk y'all, which we're supposed to do. We're supposed to hunt y'all. We're supposed to approach you. We're supposed to invite you out to get to know us. We're supposed to pay for the meal. Absolutely. We're supposed to continue to show you something good about us. Right. We're That's supposed to propose to you. Okay. We're supposed to provide for Absolutely. our family. So we're the predator. That's the top of the okay. food chain. We're the okay. predator. So, but at the same time, what type of prey are some women? You have some women that are antelope that as soon as they see the lion, they lay down and put their throat like that. They don't, and guess what? The weaker the prey, the weaker the predator. The reason why men are becoming weak. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. That sound, that sound good to a gumbo. No, it's the not. Weaker the prey, the, the weaker. weaker the prey, the weaker the predator. If a predator does no longer have to hunt and find anything, if every time I come across prey, it just shows its belly, how is that making okay, it an efficient so hunter? If, so in the, in the metaphor, in the metaphor that you're using, in the metaphor that you're using, and the metaphor that you're using, mm -hmm. the reason why men are weak is because the women are weaker? Yes. Honestly, in my opinion, in my opinion, <laughs> I feel like there is more weak niggas out here right now because there is a lot of weak women right now. But see, that's just that's just going <laughs> to be. If, if, if it were more the first show that's that, a chicken that, and egg on that the women women are making it easier for men. Exactly. To and that's to me, that's the to me. That is the biggest but problem. But the mentality got to that place because of the can't beat them, join them uh, movement. Who said you can't That's beat them? That's So it was always women were out here trying to find a good man, trying to find a good man. It wasn't enough good men. Then we went into the hall. Well, ain't no man, don't need no man. So, okay, I'm okay. We're having a piece of man. Somebody well, else you know man. what? I think that I think that it, it's not necessarily evolution with that. I just think the shit just been going on, period. I, I, it, yeah, was it, was going, I mean, no, it was always. I mean, it was it's always hope. It was always hope. I mean, I mean, like the whole. <laughs> but it's a whole movement. But I mean, whole, but like, guess what? But now. and that's what I keep talking about, even because on my see, page. I think when it was happening back in the day, it was circumstances that was keeping women with men that was going out and being unfaithful. For one, you really didn't have those many choices as black people. Where are you going? Yeah, a lot of choices where, back where in the going? day for men. No, I said for black. People. Oh, okay. And then as a black woman back in the day, no, your main job was to support the man who finally was able to go out and get a job that he could take care of the family. Okay, we're getting close to the 10 minute mark. So I just want to I want to ask this question. Then I'm going to go into the I'm gonna give everybody a chance to get your final remarks, your closing remarks. Um, I just want to ask y'all, do you think in society right now that we do we glorify hoes? Yes. Okay, so in my opinion, that's part of the problem. We glorify hoes to the point to where, one, we teach them motherfuckers, we teach especially the younger guys that you should hunt hoes. You should look at it. Like I said, but, systematic. But you know what? That's going to start us into a whole nother what's name. So let's get into the closing arguments. Uh, Valencia, closing arguments. But, um, Akila, <laughs> close the argument. I, <laughs> I can go first. No, like I said, I, I stand on my position. I see a lot of people in here saying this, that about the men and even women, and that's part of the problem. You have enough women that get on the bandwagon and turn against the women, and we're not starting from the base. The base of the family, the foundation, all of that, that we're constantly throwing that pressure on the woman, it really should be on the man. When you just broke down predator real quick, you went over it real quick. But under all of that was the position of a man. And it's what you don't, you're not supposed to 
safe facade that position to get with someone and expect them not to think something else. You're presenting yourself as a predator and you want to take it as this positive term, then I'm going to believe that when you approach me. And we like to play games with words, but we know the first thing that a man will tell you if you question him in the beginning, you don't trust him. Why I, I gave you my word. Why are you questioning me? So, and, and we bring it up stuff too early and all these things. So it's real wishy-washy out here. So that's why people single because it's some wishy-washy ass shit going on out here. And at the end of the day, I say, get your shit together and find who you need to find, who you who clicks with your click, who does what happens when, when you want it to work because all the rest of this stuff is for the birds. That's pretty much Tequila. It. Yeah, I was, um, I was agreeing with Corey from what he said earlier. The reason that men are single is because of everybody. We are. The reason we are single is because of us. So we need to go and figure out what it is that we want as an individual before we start looking for that mate and then fix ourselves and then maybe we'll be all right. Corey? Well. Um, <laughs> Closing argument. <laughs> I believe, uh, it, you know, my stance don't change. and It, it doesn't come from uh, taking myself out. It, I guess, you know, it comes from uh, looking at looking at something and seeing how I can fit in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I just, I, in sales, in sales, now I'm about to, you know, do a sales pitch. In sales, when you have a bad day, it's not the store's fault, it's not the lack of customers, it's not too many customers, it wasn't the fact that they weren't uh, trying to get what you was trying to get, it was you. Like That's what they teach you in sales. They teach you self-accountability. They teach you to fix your attitude and all of these things. So I guess I gauged why men are single on me. And when I look back at it, I know that I wasn't right at all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I maintain like I was right. You know, like, I maintain the fact that it was her fault. So when I'm asked that question today, when I'm turning 40, I know it's all me. That's that's the only way I can look at it. I, I can only look at it like she can't change the situation for me. If I present myself straight up the right way, it's all going to go the way I want it to go. That's how I look at it. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I like laugh when I say okay. Okay. It's sarcastic as well. No, I, uh, I try not to be condescending. I'm going to have to work on that next show. Okay. Um, I, at the end of the day, I just feel like I'm going to go with the same thing I already said before. <laughs> um, it's a lot of weak ass niggas out here. It's a lot of weak ass bitches out here. Every uh, female isn't worth a nigga's time. Every nigga's not worth a uh, female's time. Um, a lot of niggas are coming from a point of not seeing what a man is supposed to do. A lot of females is coming from a place of not knowing what to do when they have a male in their presence. Uh, one of the reasons why men are single is because uh, I feel like it's a lot of weak women out here. And some of these niggas, uh, they perpetuate uh, being a weak woman to the point to where a lot of women are glorifying being a weak woman. So you having more and more women trying to encourage more and more women to be weak women and and that is having more of a negative impact on the niggas um your definition of weak weak we're going to deal with that next show you'll be back on another one we're going to have to about that that's a good you know what i'm so that's a good question that's a weak that is a great question what is your definition of weak uh what my definition of weak yes we I'm trying to, I mean, up. no, we're going to talk about that. I want to know what's the definition of a weak man. So I, I, I got a definition of that motherfucker, I mean, too. But if you can, you but, can gauge the definition of a weak woman, that'll, that'll give you the definition. And, and guess what? Man. If I can gauge the, if I gauge we, the hey, definition. We get a break, we get a president. Yeah. And, and guess what? <laughs> if I gauge the definition of a weak woman and a weak man, I still have a bunch of motherfuckers saying I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because remember, uh, the uh, week before last, me and you were two unspe unspe unspectacular niggas to be talking about certain shit. It. But even with that, I just feel like uh, and one of the reasons, I mean, the reason why men are weak is because women are weak, men are weak, and it's just a cycle. We need to start having stronger women. That's the reason why as much as people say, I don't love women and I bash women and I hate women, I say a lot of shit because I hope that some women will get stronger because so, I feel like as women get stronger, men will get back to what we originally were. So uh, it's tough love. Huh? 
Huh? It's tough love. It's the toughest of love. I'm punching them in their the goddamn women stomach. The women so no, it's it's women. niggas I I know. Guess what? When I talk shit about niggas, no apparently nobody's on my fucking page. I can say some shit about these zip ass niggas, woo woo woo, and nobody sees it. But the moment I say something about the women, Hey, oh, you always talking about the women. And yes, I do say shit about these niggas, so you can shut the fuck up. All right, last few seconds. Just want to say, if you need a, a home to do your podcast, you need to do some recording, you can come holler at us at Echo Rhythm. Echo Rhythm. We are here. Um, I want to give a shout out to Jasmine Castro. She's the one that always does my promos. Shout out to you if you need some pussy weights, if you need it to get tight, you need to holler at Jasmine Castro. She has the Yoni Eggs. I said it right, Yoni Eggs, and she, she got good deals for you. Uh, and another shout out to my personal stylist, uh, Delicia Tatum. You can look that up on Facebook, D-E-L-E-C-I-A Tatum. Uh, my fashion designer, she makes all the shirts that you see that I wear. If you need something custom, holla at Designs by D. And I want to thank Valencia, Akila, and Corey for being on the show this week. Uh, again, if you need your, if you don't like what I say and you need something sugar coated, they have shows on Primetime, The View, Steve Harvey. If you want to hear some real ish, you want to hear some good back and forth, you want to hear some shit that you and your friends talk about when y'all smoking and you drinking and you a female and you saying these niggas ain't shit and you a nigga and you say these chicks ain't shit and you want to have a good debate, check out Real Ish of the Day. We out. I'll holla at you. Catch us next time. Interesting.